Welcome back guys to another video. Today I'm gonna show you guys a cool ROM that's for the Galaxy S4, Canadian model international. So first let's boot up the phone. And I, I'm gonna show you guys how to install it after. So as you can see it says kernel is not SE Android enforcing and set warranty bit kernel that's normal if you're rooted and also you need a rooted device for this to happen and a custom recovery I'll show you guys when I get to the installation process and we're gonna look at the new boot animation all right it's uh, the new Android 7 nugget or nougat boot animation all right so now it's booted up um, as you can see we are getting service from Fido so here is the lock screen time date and there should be phone here and camera on this side all right so this is the new pixel launcher in my other video I showed you guys all right so um, when this ROM boots up it's gonna have the regular launcher with the app draw here all right so first the phone app Alright, so let's look at the settings. First of all, this ROM is Android N based on Android 7. So time, date, brightness settings here, Wi-Fi, network service, battery, all that, auto rotation. You can add whatever you want. Like go edit. Edit. And you could like add more pages to it, I guess. So Alright, so here, so the system updates doesn't work, it's from the developer website, I'll show you later. And then, um, also, so just Android version, the new easter egg thing, right here. Um, Android version, and model number, Android patch level, baseband for Rogers, and then, uh, kernel version, stock kernel, build number. Alright, so, uh, Play Store, it's like, basically supported all the... All the apps here. Yep. Alright, so this comes with root access. So for example, we tap add away. Um, it's gonna add blocker system super user permissions. So all the root works. Super SU right here. And uh, titanium backup. It works on Android 7.0. So basically you could back up, back up all your ROMs here. So back up dates, I mean apps. So back up all your apps, root access, and then schedules here. Yeah, basically that's all the ROM has. Like, there's nothing, it's very smooth, no crashes, no boot loops whatsoever. And like, every time I open an app, it's quick, quick and easy. Alright, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to install this ROM. Alright guys, so first power off your phone and we're gonna take a look at my computer. Here's the page. Um, it's the XD developers website. Just search JDC Team 7.0 um, Android Open Source Project. And as we scroll down, we're gonna look for the download links here. Um, ROM, ROM Hut. Alright, so let me focus. Alright, so this is a September 9 build. So after you download that, um, make sure you have a custom recovery, so twerp. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in there. Alright, so here's instructions. So download the ROM from above, and then open G, download G-Apps. So first, click 7.0 ARM for Galaxy S4, and I selected Nano. That's like the one you need, because you can install the rest from the Play Store. And then after that, you have to install Steam Ready. Um, if you don't know which one to pick, like there's a lot just scroll down to here there's a recommended one right here all right so download that too i already have it downloaded to my phone all right so um convert to f2fs is optional then yeah so just flash all those three files and i'm gonna show you guys what to do afterwards all right so we're back to our phone now so after you powered it off um to boot to recovery hold um volume up center home and power button so we're gonna hold that 
so okay so once the logo boots up and blue icon let go it says recovery booting oh so you have to do it again because it went too fast so as soon as you see the logo let go so let go now then we can see recovery booting and then the kernel or recovery is not se android enforcing set warranty bit recovery that's normal for rooted devices so we're gonna boot recovery now we're gonna boot twerp 3.0 or team Team Win Recovery Project 3.0.2. Right, so we are from fresh install. Fresh install, so they're gonna wipe everything. So wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik system data um, cache. You don't have to wipe internal storage or USB. You don't have to do that. So after you're done, oh yeah, make sure you back up if you're wrong before you're doing that. If you have the existing one. So, uh, you don't have to do that. Alright, so all we have to do now after backup and wiping, install, browse to your internal, wherever you downloaded it. So, mine's internal storage. After, oops, micro SD. Alright, so I down, I have two, but just slash AOSP, add more zips, open G apps, add more zips, and then that's a Google Apps, and now the theme ready. And then, pe and then swipe to confirm flash. But I'm not gonna do that because I already have it. So after it's done, it's gonna say installation complete. Click reboot system now or reboot to system. Here we go. So yeah, that's how you install this ROM. It's really quick and easy. So this is the normal procedure of booting it up. The first boot up is gonna take five minutes to set up and everything, but after that, it's gonna be really quick. Just make sure you don't um, interrupt the installation while you're doing it. Alright, so yeah, that was really quick, like 10 seconds. To test uh, net the LTE uh, mobile network settings for this ROM, it's really quick and fast, so I'm going to show you guys. So first I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi connection, then I'm going to turn on the data connection, and we should connect to LTE very soon, which is right here. Alright, we're on LTE service now, and this is the Canadian network I'm on, speed testing, so here we go, really quick. The Wi-Fi on this ROM is really fast, you don't have to worry, it's, the network is also fast, because some ROMs network doesn't work, or you get no SIM or no signal, and this ROM works, so, yeah. Right, the flash, my lights in the way. So we're getting about 27 ping, 27 milliseconds, and 45.757, around 45 megabits download. Almost faster than my home internet, it's 50 megabits. We're really close. And we hit 10.42, about 10 megabits, or yeah, megabits upload speed. And yeah, that's really quick. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys liked the video and want more, uh, please hit the like button on this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. See you guys in the next one.